Hello everyone, I'm so excited to see you again. This week is all about St. Patrick's Day. We're going to learn about things that are green and leprechauns and gold, pots of gold. It's gonna be very exciting. Are you ready? Great, but first we're going to sing our hello song. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm great, I'm wonderful. I'm good, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm not so good. I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm not so good. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? Yay! Okay, so today is all about St. Patrick's Day and we're going to read some books and we're going to make a craft and we're gonna sing some songs. Are you ready to start? Okay, so first we're going to have a book. And this is called Pete the Cat, The Great Leprechaun Chase. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day and Pete's teacher, Mr. G, is teaching about leprechauns. The only time you can catch one is on St. Patrick's Day. A leprechaun will bring you good luck, Mr. G says. Now everyone in class wants a leprechaun. Pete gets a great idea. He will open a leprechaun catching business. St. Patrick's Day comes and Pete gathers some supplies. He hangs a sign above his stand. This will be easy, Pete thinks. Squirrel is Pete's first customer. I want a leprechaun, Squirrel says. I need good luck for my test. Cool, I'm on it, says Pete. Pete has a plan. He will follow Rainbow until he finds a leprechaun. Finally, Pete arrives at the end of the rainbow and finds Clover the leprechaun next to a pot of gold. Pete sneaks up behind Clover, swoosh! But Clover is too fast. Did you think you could catch me so easily, he asks. Once there was a cat named Pete who thought nabbing some luck would be neat. Then he happened upon a smart leprechaun who he'll find, who he'll find quite tricky to beat. Clover disappeared in a puff of green smoke. Pete will need a new plan. This afternoon, Gus visits Pete's lucky leprechaun catchers. I want a leprechaun, Gus says. I need good luck for my band recital. Pete says, I'll see what I can do. Pete plans to lure Clover out with his music. He plays a jaunty song on his guitar. Before long, Clover dances over to Pete. Just a little closer, Pete thinks. Suddenly, Clover starts spinning around Pete. Round and round, Clover goes faster and faster. Oh no, Clover wraps up Pete with the rope. Pete has finally met his match, a crafty, crafty leprechaun he just can't catch. He'll never win, he better give in or find something else to snatch. That evening, Callie visits Pete's lucky leprechaun catchers. I want a leprechaun, Callie says. I need good luck for my tennis match. Hmm, says Pete. St. Patrick's Day is almost over. There isn't much time to catch a leprechaun, but Pete won't give up yet. Pete sets a trap for Clover. Before long, Clover tiptoes up to the trap and sniffs the air. Mmm, I love candy, he whispers, peering into the box. Crash! Pete rushes over and checks underneath the trap, but it's empty. Clover skips away. Pete has tried many a plot, but still I haven't been caught. And isn't it dandy? I even got candy while well, Pete ends up with squat. Pete has an idea. He follows the trail of spilled candy to Clover's secret hideout. Pete sneaks up behind Clover. Swoosh! Pete finally catches Clover. What do you want? What do you want me? Why do you want me? Clover asks. I'm helping my friends who need some extra luck, Pete says. Luck doesn't come from having a leprechaun, says Clover. You and your friends have each other. There already makes you as lucky as can be. Could Clover be right? Pete is one very lucky cat. A lucky cat doesn't need a lucky leprechaun. He lets Clover go. Pete decides he will be the good luck his friends need by helping them out himself. Pete helps Squirrel study for his test. Squirrel aces it. Pete helps Gus rehearse for the recital. Gus rocks it. 
Pete helps Callie practice for her match. Callie wins it. Clover magically appears. Good job, Pete, says Clover. I have one more poem for you. While Clover played hide and seek, Pete learned something unique. The luck that may you make beats the luck you take on any old day of the week. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yay! So now we're gonna have some songs all about St. Patrick's Day. And this first song is about leprechauns. Are you ready? Okay. It sounds like I'm a little teapot. I'm a little leprechaun dressed in green, the tiniest man you've ever seen. If you ever catch me, it is told, I'll give you my pot of gold. I'm a little leprechaun, can't you see? I'm as tiny as can be. I only come around just once a year. That's when St. Patrick's Day is here. I'm a little leprechaun, short and green. Here is my shamrock, but I can't be seen. When you pull my feather, you'll hear me scream. I'm a little leprechaun, short and green. Yay! So I have a clover right here that he was talking about. They have normally, they have three side, free leaves on them. But if they have four, then that's lucky. Very lucky. Okay, so now we're gonna do a song that sounds like All Around the Mulberry Bush, but it's about St. Patrick's Day. Are you ready? Okay. Let's wear green and dance a jig, dance a jig, dance a jig. Let's wear green and dance a jig on St. Patrick's Day. Let's wear green and dance a jig, dance a jig, dance a jig. Let's wear green and dance a jig on St. Patrick's Day. Yay! Okay, so this one sounds like I'm a little teapot again. Are you ready? Okay. I'm a little shamrock, see my leaves. Count my petals, if you please. If you give me water and lots of sun, I'll bring you good luck and lots of fun. Yay! So now we're gonna do a song that sounds like I'm a little teapot, but this one's about a shamrock. Are you ready? Okay. I'm a little shamrock, see my leaves. Count my three petals, if you please. If you give me water and lots of sun, I'll bring you good luck and lots of fun. Yay! Okay, so now we're going to do another song about a leprechaun. Are you ready? Okay. Leprechaun, leprechaun, hiding in the hay. Leprechaun, leprechaun, don't run away. Leprechaun, leprechaun, let's go out and play. Leprechaun, leprechaun, it's St. Patrick's Day. Yay! So now we're going to make a craft. So what do you need? This is what you need. For this craft, you will need paper streamers or thin cut strips of paper, a popsicle stick, scissors, and tape. Okay, do you have what you need? Great, or maybe later you're gonna make it and you're gonna watch me now. Okay, so we're gonna take our piece of paper. I'm using green because I want my shamrock to be green. And I'm going to find a pencil, and so we're gonna draw our shamrock and you can draw your shamrock with three leaves or four leaves, whatever you want. Ones with four leaves are very lucky. So I'm going to try, try to do that. So they're gonna have each leaf kind of looks like a heart. So that's what I'm gonna draw. And if you need help, you can just ask someone at home to draw for you and then you can just decorate it later. Okay, so I'm gonna draw 
four things that almost look like hearts and a stem. Two, three, four. And then I'm going to cut it out. So there, oops, I'm gonna put that on the ground. So there's my sort of like this, but it has four because I want it to be lucky. So then you're going to take a popsicle stick or any kind of stick that you have, and I'm going to tape it to my shamrock. So I'm with some tape. So now I want to take, maybe if you have paper and you can cut up them really small, or I have some sleeve streamer things that I cut up. So I'm going to tape them to this. So that it's almost like a wand, like magic. Okay, I'm going to tape mine down on the, the back of your shamrock. And I'll tape it there. So I have three on one side and I'm going to put three on the other side. One, two, three. One, that's blue. Two, that's yellow. And three. That's red. And then I have my wand. Yay! So now our wand is ready. Boop! Some luck for you. Boop! Some luck for me. And now we're going to clean up. Are you ready for the song? Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do their share. Yay! So I'm gonna clean up all my stuff. And now we're gonna have our second book. And this one is called Three Ways to Trap a Leprechaun by Tara Laser and pictures by Vivian Toe. My little brother, Sam, doesn't think leprechauns are real. Can you believe that? Leprechauns, baloney. Well, I believe in leprechauns. They're magical, mischievous miniature marbles. It's almost St. Patrick's Day, so it's time to show Sam the inescapable truth. I'll build an inescapable leprechaun trap. Time to plan, plot, and plow ahead with my design. Do I have the proper tools and supplies? Let's find out. Where are we going? Ta-da! Welcome to my Leprechaun Trap Laboratory. Pretty snazzy, huh? In this trap, the sticks hold the basket and the string is tied to the stick. 
and something shiny is attached to the string, so that no, no leprechaun can resist this trap. Let's give it a test run. Now it's zero hour. Countdown declares the hero hour. It's let's lure a leprechaun. Oh, oh I see one. Oh, Zip, he tripped the trap, but gave us the slip. Hey, what's this note? Try and try, but I'll be gone. You can't catch me, I'm a leprechaun. From Finn. Ha, Finn sounds like the gingerbread man right before the fox got him. Well, I'm sly like a fox too. I can out fox Finn. Back to the lab. Again? That last trap's kaput. It was far too simple, Sam. I need a wild roller coaster of a trap. I'll twist this twine and loop and win fin in circles and wind fin in circles. Wake me when you're done. Don't take a nap. I'll nab him now. Wow, look at all of the stuff that she made. Fin got loose and bamoosed, but how? Try and try, but let me be clear, your machine is missing a gear. Hmm, I've designed, I've built, I've tested. He's vanished every time. What am I not seeing? Wait, that's it. A trap Finn doesn't see. I'll disguise my trap. I need mirrors like a funhouse, a spool of invisible wire. Oh, he sees all of the gold. Eureka, this trap did the trick. This is no baloney. But then we blinked and we were hoodwinked. In a twinkle, Finn the leprechaun was gone. Try and try, I told you so, but for your hard work, a triple rainbow. <gasps> Look, the rainbows. I'd like to say my work here is done, but now I've got a lab assistant and that's a good thing. Can we catch Bigfoot too? How about a Yeti? Ooh, the Loch Ness Monster. Because we're going to need a big trap. <gasps> Look, they're making a new trap. Yay. So now we're gonna have some more songs. Are you ready? This song is another, about another little leprechaun and it's on your hand. Are you ready? We're going to point to the fingers on our hand. Are you ready? Okay. This little leprechaun slid down the rainbow. This little le leprechaun stayed home. This little leprechaun picked up a shamrock and this little leprechaun found some gold. And this little leprechaun cried, see you, you can't catch me. And he ran home. Yay. So now we're gonna do a song about a leprechaun and how you know you have one. Are you ready? It sounds like, do your ears hang low? Ready, here we go. Do your ears point up? Do you have a lot of luck? For gold do you dig? Can you dance an iris jig? If you answered yes, you're a leprechaun, I guess. Do your ears point up? Do your ears point up? Do you have a lot of luck? For gold do you dig? Can you dance an iris jig? If you answered yes, you're a leprechaun, I guess. Do your ears point up. Yay! So now we're going to do a poem about shamrocks. Are you ready? Okay. Five green shamrocks growing outdoors. Tim picked one and that left four. Four little shamrocks green as they could be. Jane picked one and that left three. Three little shamrocks playing peekaboo. Ryan picked one and that left two. Two little shamrocks nodding in the sun. Jill picked one and that left one. One little shamrock for St. Patrick's Day fun. Will picked one and that left none. Yay! Okay, so now we're gonna have another song and this one sounds like uh, the Muffin Man song, but it's about a leprechaun. Are you ready? Okay. 
Oh, have you seen the leprechaun, a leprechaun, a leprechaun? Oh, have you seen a leprechaun who came from Ireland? Oh, have you seen a leprechaun, a leprechaun, a leprechaun? Have you seen a leprechaun who came from Ireland? Yay! So now we're gonna do a song that sounds like the Incy Wincy Spider, but it's about a leprechaun. Are you ready? Oops, my ears. Mm. Okay. The Incy Wincy Leprechaun came out on St. Patrick's Day to look for the gold that was hidden far away. Over the rainbow was where he was told. So with a wink of his green eye, he ran for the gold. Yay! Okay, so now we're gonna have our third book. And this one is called Happy St. Patrick's Day Tiny by Carrie Meister. It's St. Patrick's Day. To celebrate, Tiny and I are going to the party in the park where there will be a parade, a costume contest, and a scavenger hunt. What should we wear, Tiny? You can wear this fancy dog collar and this big hat. I'll wear these tights and green shorts and this hat and red beard. We look like real leprechauns. When we get to the park, the parade starts. There are musicians playing bagpipes, a row of St. Patrick's Day floats, Irish dancers, and more. Some people dressed as leprechauns throw golden chocolate coins. I run to pick them up, but when I come back, Tiny is gone. Tiny, where are you? I called out, but I cannot see him. Tiny is usually easy to find, but not today. Finally, I find him. He's standing on stage with a ribbon pinned to his hat. He's won fourth place in the costume contest. Congratulations, Tiny, I yell. When the contestants come down from the stage, a girl in an Irish wolfhound costume looks happy to see me. Is this your dog, she asks. He's been following me everywhere. He's nice, but his drool is getting all over my costume. I apologize, then let Tiny say goodbye. Together we head off to the scavenger hunt. A man dressed as a leprechaun is giving instructions. Follow each clue on the path. The first one to find the pot of gold wins. Are we ready to start? The leprechaun asks. Yes, we all shout. Woof, says Tiny. May the luck of the Irish be with you, he says, as we all run to the first clue. The first clue is easy to find. It's stuck to a tree. It says, you will find clue number two on something that's blue. I scan the park and see three blue things, the slide, a door to the restroom, and a signpost. Tiny and I decide to go to the slide. Some kids are already there. They don't see a clue, so they leave but, and run to the signpost. I started to follow them, but Tiny sniffs something under the slide. When I crawl under to investigate, I spot the shamrock. You'll find clue number three on something that's green, it reads. I look around the park. So many things are green. I'm about to check out the merry-go-round when Tiny takes off. Tiny, come back, I yell. But Tiny has spotted the girl in the Irish wolfhound costume and won't listen. When I finally catch up to them, I realize that we are far away from the scavenger hunt. Sorry, I say to the girl, he just really likes you. That's when I see that she's crying. What's the matter, I ask. I lost my shoe, the girl says. I was playing in the sandbox, so I took off my shoes. And when I went to put them back on, only one was there. They're new shoes, and I'm so sad. We can help you find your lost shoe, I say. Tiny's good at finding things. We search for the girl's shoe. We look up, we look by the bench, we look by the tree, we look and look, but we can't find it. We are about to give up when... Woof, Tiny calls. Tiny has found the shoe and the next clue. Thank you, the girl says, giving Tiny a big kiss. You are the luckiest boy I know, the girl tells me. You have the best dog ever. I start to read the clue on the shamrock. Keep going, the pot is very close. All of a sudden, we hear a joyous roar up ahead. Someone else has found the pot of gold. That's okay, I tell Tiny. I'm still the luckiest kid all around. I have you. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Tiny. Yay! Well, thanks for being with me today to learn all about St. Patrick's Day and leprechauns and clovers and pots of gold at the ends of rainbows. But we now have to say goodbye. Are you ready to sing the goodbye song? Okay. 
The day is done and we had fun. The day is done and we had fun. We'll see you again next week. But for now, the day is done. Bye, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.